great Zavi Cat, exciting stuff are happening in Final Fantasy XIV again, and of course I'm here to talk about it, I'm not gonna miss out. We are about to get a content so really cursed, it's it's nightmare fuel and I'm living for it actually. We're getting a Final Fantasy XIV and Fall Guys collaboration event at the end of this month on October 31 and they already released a new uh, special site for it. Let's, let's go through it together. As soon as I click on the link and go to the site, the colors, the map, it's already weirding me out. It's so unusual for Final Fantasy XIV. It's in a good way though, obviously in a good way. They actually released a trailer video for this event too. It gives us a better idea of what it's gonna be like. It looks like they're gonna include some of the status effects and some of the mechanics we are already familiar with from the past dungeons. And of course, there are so many unique map designs inspired from Fall Guys. As someone who loves the casual Gold Saucer games, I can't wait to try these out. I'm not gonna lie, those things look really fast. It looks like it's gonna be really challenging. I'm curious to see how it's gonna work out. I'm I'm so glad they are doing collaborations like these. I'm so glad they are actually giving us content like these. It's so different, so unusual. I would never imagine a collaboration between Fall Guys and Final Fantasy XIV actually. It's, it came out of nowhere and it's great. It was, it's looking cursed and I'm loving it. I'll be honest with you, I just want to grapple you all and push you off the map for funsies. It's my greatest desire. It will make my brain really, really happy. I will enjoy every moment of this cold-blooded friendly murder. That is, of course, if it is possible to do this in this game mode. We don't know yet. I hope it is. Let's talk about the things we know about this event. The event will start on October 31 on Tuesday and it will be available until the end of this year, until December 31. To participate in this event, you need to be at least level 15, which is really easy to achieve you won't have any problems at all even if you're a new player and you also have to complete the quest it could happen to you it's one of the requirements because the rest of the event is gonna be in gold saucer if you don't have it unlocked yet you might want to unlock it before the start of this event also how do you not have gold saucer unlocked yet go get it unlocked right now it's fun you're missing out if you're meeting the requirements you can take the event quest from the gold saucer and after completing that you can participate participate in Blunderville shows. I'm imagining these events might be time-based like the Gold Saucer events. But then again, they didn't specify how it's gonna work here. We'll just have to wait and see. By participating in these events, we're gonna gain a new event currency called the Gold Saucer fame. And guess what we're gonna use that currency for? Rewards! There are so many cursed rewards and I want them all! Just, just imagine, just imagine for a second. You are one of the NPCs in Eorzea and you're told the hero of Eorzea is coming to help you. And then the great warrior of light shows up in this fit. It's just so beautiful to even dream about. We're also getting a new Burger King crown for the mentors. I'm excited for that. We can now look extra shiny and still know nothing. Here are some previews of the other rewards. There are so many of them. I didn't expect it to be this many. They've been super generous with these. I'm surprised. There's some glamour, obviously. There's a new emote, which is previewed right here. There are some pads, some housing items. I wonder if this hammer is gonna be animated. I might place that right at the entrance of my house and greet my friends with a hello. Get smashed. There is also the full guys theme as an orchestrian role, which I think is a really cool addition. Some framework kits for your profile and lots of lots of dice if you need them too. Keep in mind that this event currency is gonna be available only during this event. So make sure to use all your currency before the event ends. We don't know if this event is gonna come back. And even if it does, we don't know if we can keep this currency for the next event. Just play it safe and get your rewards early. You don't want to forget about it and then be disappointed. So what do you guys think? Are you guys excited? Because I am. It looks so interesting. It's so different. I can't wait to play through this event and maybe even compete with you guys live on Twitch. It kind of depends on how this game mode is going to work, actually. I don't know if we're going to be able to queue into the same instances with our friends. Or maybe we can queue as a party. I don't know. We'll find out at the end of this month. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And with a special thanks to the channel members for supporting this channel. Thank you so much. You guys are the sweetest. I love your guts. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Stay cozy.